Hi everyone, this week we've got a couple classic Volvos. First one up is a Volvo Bertone Coupe, a 262C. This is by a brand called Cult Scale, which I don't think I've reviewed before. Um, I don't remember. I only have three Cult Scale cars. They're pretty neat. Uh, it is a bit of a mid-level or higher-end um, resin brand. So again, nothing opens. You've got nice kind of raised decals. Pretty decent paint. And the decals are pretty good. They're the metal kind. Uh, the grill, unfortunately, is not open. Bit of a bummer. Um, one of the unique features of a cult scale is the steering wheels. Not really typical of a resin car. The, uh, the resin window bubble is really not too much of an issue here. They're pretty good. Seams are pretty good. Um, I was a big fan of the later Bertone Coupe. I think that was the 780 Bertone in the, uh, in the mid to late 80s. Um, I don't know that anyone makes a die cast of that. I'm not sure. And if they do, I want it. Um, these are made, I think, in limited quantities of about a thousand. Not marked underneath. Pretty neat car. In terms of packaging, it's a window box. I think all their boxes are green. Nothing too exciting there. But since I've never had a cult scale car on before, that is the packaging. Retail is a little expensive. They're about 179 retail. Um, sometimes I see them for as much as like 220 ish on eBay. Uh, I would not pay that for a resin car like this. I think I paid maybe $50 for it, which as I say at that price, I'm not mad at it. Next, we've got a Volvo P1900. This is by BOS. This is the earliest Volvo in my collection. This does have an open photo etched grill. Um, the paint is actually very, very good. BOS can be a little hit or miss with quality control, but this actually was a pretty good car overall. This is car number 375 F750, which is a pretty good number. This is indicated as from 1956. I, I personally, to be honest, I'd never even seen this Volvo. I've never even seen a picture of it before. Uh, you really don't see early, early Volvos like this. Interior detail is very good. Paint works very good. The wide whites are a nice touch. So again, happy with this. You know, typical BOS cars retail for $129. Um, I think I got this on sale through American Excellence for about $60. So can't go wrong at that price. Packaging is very typical BOS. Really nothing to see of any interest. Just a black box. Very exciting, but people yell at me if I don't focus on the packaging enough. So that's it for this week. Um, I, I think we're getting due to mix it up a little bit. I think next week maybe we'll do a couple American cars. Um, something in the 70s. I've got a muscle car and I know my muscle car content has been few and far between lately. So tune in, like, and subscribe. See you next week. Have a good one.